Hello, beloved brothers and sisters. May the peace of the Lord be with you. It is with great joy and gratitude that I invite you to another blessed meeting, full of divine presence. Today, we will delve into the word of the Lord together, and before we begin this spiritual journey, I would like to warmly welcome you in the name of our loving God. Psalm 68 is a poetic composition found in the Book of Psalms, a part of the Old Testament of the Bible. This work, attributed to King David, is a vivid expression of praise and worship that celebrates God's greatness, power, and redemptive action in the lives of His people. This literary piece is an eloquent manifestation of trust and faith, permeated by striking images and metaphors that illustrate divine majesty. The structure of Psalm 68 is marked by a series of powerful statements about God and His relationship with His people. It begins with the stunning image of God rising and His enemies being scattered, a vivid demonstration of His sovereignty and victory over opposing forces. The metaphor of smoke being driven by the wind and wax melting before the fire are used to illustrate the inevitability of the defeat of the wicked before the Almighty. Throughout the psalm, there is a rich narrative that describes God's leadership during His people's journey through the desert, alluding to the story of the Exodus and the Divine Presence manifested in the cloud that guided Israel. Psalm 68 highlights God's generosity in providing for His people and His compassion for the oppressed. Furthermore, the work highlights the importance of God's dwelling place, symbolizing the Divine Presence among His people. The poetic language of Psalm 68 evokes a range of emotions, from exultation in God's victory to confidence in His enduring faithfulness. The images and metaphors used provide a deep sensorial and emotional experience, conveying the central message that God is worthy of praise, trust and worship. Thus, Psalm 68 continues to be a source of spiritual inspiration and reflection for those seeking a deeper connection with the Divine. Let's now reflect on Psalm 68, and then we will pray our Father Amen. God shall arise, His enemies shall be scattered. And those who hate Him shall flee before Him. As smoke is driven away, so you shall drive them away. As wax melts before fire, so the wicked shall perish before God. Lord, my God and Father, I ask you to bless each of these people, to protect them and free them from all evil. Grant them comfort in their hearts, remove all fear, weakness, hurt, anxiety and depression. Free, rescue them. From all the enemy's traps, Lord, and heal those who are sick, whether in hospital beds or in other places. Visit them by your power. My God and Heavenly Father, in humility and reverence, we approach you at this time, crying out for your divine intervention and blessing upon all the hearts that have taken the time to contemplate the sacred words of this psalm. You are the God who heals wounds, who protects and blesses His children, and we trust in your mercy and love in this special time. Lord, look tenderly on each person who heard this psalm, knowing the joys and pains that reside in their hearts. We ask, Father, that you heal all emotional, physical and spiritual wounds that may exist. You are the great doctor, capable of restoring and renewing. May hope flourish and peace overflow like a river, flooding every area of need. In your sovereign hands, we place the protection of all those who were here, Father. We know that we live in a world full of challenges, but we trust that your protective hand is upon us. Send your angels to surround and guard each person, warding off all evil and freeing them from all the snares of the enemy. May the presence of the Holy Spirit be felt as an inviolable fortress. Lord, in your infinite love, abundantly bless those who, with sincerity, sought your presence at this moment. Grant dreams of prosperity, not only material but also spiritual and emotional. May each home be permeated by your grace, providing a life of quality and meaning for the families represented here. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whose sacrifice reconciled us to you, we lift up this prayer. May she be like sweet incense before your throne. Beloved Heavenly Father, in humility and reverence, entering into your sovereign presence, reconnoitering your majesty and power. 
Lord, I pray that your divine anointing may flow abundantly upon every person who is present in this sacred moment of reflection and adoration. Renew, O Lord, the spiritual life of each one of them. May the Chama de Fe burn more intensely, illuminating your hearts with the knowledge of your word. Train yourselves, Pi, to be powerful instruments in yours, raising the light of the gospel to all who are lost and needy. Grant wisdom, O Deus, to each one of your children who seeks to follow your paths may they be guided by the Holy Spirit in every decision and that your will prevail in all areas of their lives. Lord, extend your mouths of healing to those who face illnesses. It was done in a hospital bed, touching its restorative power. May your glory be manifested through miraculous cures, so that the testimony of your goodness may be proclaimed. Rebuke, O God, every evil mushroom that is launched against the families represented here. May the peace of the Lord surround the lands and may harmony reign, destroying any work of others. Liberate, Pi, those who face family challenges, guiding them with your loving mouth. Lord Jesus, I thank you for hearing this prayer and for being alive in the lives that I heard. Continue to work in every heart, strengthening faith, renewing hope and showering blessings in measure. Lord, I come before you in this moment of deep gratitude and humility. I thank you for another day granted, for all the blessings you generously showered on us. I recognize, with a heart full of gratitude, that it is through your mercy and love that we can face each new dawn. In this moment of communion, I express my sincere appreciation for your constant presence in our lives. You are the lighthouse that guides us in hours of darkness, the inexhaustible source of grace that sustains us through daily challenges. I thank you for your faithfulness that is renewed every morning and for your kindness that surrounds us like a protective mantle. Lord, I pray that these words of gratitude and praise reach the ends of the earth. May, through our prayers, your light shine upon those who do not yet know your word. May each prayer be like seeds thrown in the wind, reaching thirsty hearts around the world. Bless, Lord, those who seek your face, and touch the hearts of those who have not yet found the way to you. May your word be proclaimed with power and may the message of your love reach even the most remote places. In your name, I also ask for protection and blessings upon each person who raises their voice in this prayer. Keep us under your wings, guide us with your wisdom, and fill our hearts with compassion and love for one another. I thank you, Lord, for your abundant grace and for allowing our voices to unite in praise and thanksgiving. May this day be lived in your service and may we be instruments of your love to those around us. In the precious name of Jesus, Amen. Our Father in heaven, blessed be your name. Your kingdom eats. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts. Just as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the honor and the glory, today, tomorrow and forever. Amen. Glory to God. Psalm 68 at the end of its message of praise and worship, transcends the limits of time and culture, establishing itself as an eternal hymn of confidence in divine grandeur. As the poetic narrative unfolds, permeated by vibrant images and powerful metaphors, the psalmist builds an eloquent testimony of the relationship between the Almighty and His people. As we contemplate the inspired words of Psalm 68, we are invited to participate in a spiritual journey that spans the history of God's people, from triumphant victories to times of trial and oppression. The image of the divine presence in the cloud that guides the people through the desert resonates as a tangible reminder of God's unceasing care, even in the midst of life's barren terrains. The richness of Psalm 68 is not limited to just the historical narrative, but extends to the profound expression of God's compassionate nature. His generosity is portrayed in the constant provision for those in need, and His righteousness is evidenced in the defeat of enemies. 
In this context, the psalm's transcendent message echoes through the centuries, inspiring confidence in those facing adversity and yearning for divine refuge. The emphasis on the sanctity of God's dwelling place highlights the importance of the divine presence among His people. This is not just a physical location, but symbolizes the spiritual closeness that God maintains with those who seek Him. This communion reverberates as a continuous invitation for all to find shelter and comfort in the shadow of the Almighty. At the end of this sacred poem, we are led to a conclusion of unshakable confidence in God's faithfulness. The harmony between words and images creates a symphony of praise that transcends the limitations of human language. Psalm 68 remains a perennial source of inspiration, a timeless echo that resonates in the hearts of those who seek a deeper connection with the divine, inviting us to praise, trust, and rest in the majesty of the eternal God.